All right, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Quality Content Rick channel. This evening, we're gonna make some steaks. So, first thing we gotta do is get our pan buttered up and hot. What you see here is bacon grease from this morning. We're gonna use that to fry our steaks in. So we'll get that going. All right, guys, so we're gonna season this bad boy up. We're gonna season it with the pink Himalayan salt. A little bit of that on there. We got some pepper. If I can get to open. It's very little pepper. Pepper on there. Like that. We got some steak and chop. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on there. Just a little bit, not too much. And we also have this garlic powder. So we're gonna, oh, that's not how you do it. So you just sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on there. All right guys, so we got our steak seasoned up here real nice. I don't know if you can see that. So now what we're gonna do is cut our asparagus. We're gonna cut the ends off of it. So we just take a few of these. That ought to be enough. Take, I cut about that much off. My handy dandy little knife here. Works pretty good. All right, everybody. So got our asparagus cut right here. Got steak seasoned up. Preheat this cast iron on five right here so it's half the temperature whatever your stove is capable of going to so we're gonna put some salt and pepper on here here in just a few minutes when I get this uh, heated up real nice alright everybody so I think it might be hot enough that's a pretty good sized steak a little over an inch it's about 16 ounces so we're just gonna lay it in here here's sizzling we don't want to burn it definitely don't want to burn it Make sure our tongs are working. Ah, that shows the glare. We'll leave that there. So you just want to set this in here about five minutes. Don't mess with it. Just let it hang out about five minutes. All right, guys. It's been about five minutes. We're gonna check this other side here. See what this other side looks like. It's doing pretty good. It's doing all right. Uh, we're going to let it go about another minute. Got my water here because I get thirsty. We're going to go ahead and start putting this asparagus in there. Put it all over here on this side. Then, what we're going to do, take our little piece of butter we got. A little butter here. Put it right down there on that asparagus. Let that melt in there good. Maybe we'll take this, put it up on its side for a little bit. Put that bottom piece of fat in there. Cook that up a little good. Mmm, that's gonna be good. Get the fat melted in there real nice. Let that cook for about five or six more minutes. No, about one more minute on this side, then we'll flip it over. All right, so I move my butter on top of the steak here. Put some, oh, that's too much. I opened the wrong side of my salt. Dang it, that's way too much salt. Oh well, we'll just have to live with it. Put some pepper on that, on the asparagus. I'll take and move our butter back over. Let that melt in. All right, it's about time to flip it over. Ooh, look at that. That guy. Put these down. This up. Smoke that butter. Look at that. Put a little butter on there. So this is mostly bacon grease from this morning's bacon. 
And we got a little bit of that butter right there. Mmm. That's gonna be good. We'll let that cook about six or seven minutes on that side. Remember, we're only using half heat over here, guys. Half heat. Hi, everybody. I just flipped it over. My camera on my battery died. So I had to get my other camera out. I hope the audio is good on this one. Everything's looking really nice on this steak. Look at these edges, so good. That, ooh, that fat just coming off there. Melting off there, ain't it? Ooh, dang it. Asparaguses are cooking up really nicely. One, sit. I'll do one of these here. Season all over the asparagus. Mm. It's gonna be real good. This is the fat that's coming right off there. We're gonna take these, take the fat off. We're gonna fry them up even longer. Cause it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good eating. Nice little one pound ribeye. That's fat. It's just falling apart there. Fat chunk. Ooh, it's good. The asparagus is almost done. Don't want the asparagus to get too mushy because it's very fibrous. It'll get stringy if it's too overcooked. I'm going to have a little bit of snap in it. Just a little bit of snap. <coughs> Alright. Put this on our board here. Let it hang out for a second. Fire off. Let this fat cook up some more. It's gonna be delicious. Alright, got this little knife here. And cut right through the center here. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Look at that everybody. Dang it, that's a good looking steak. Alright, so I'm gonna try this steak out. See what it's about. Get a fork. Make another cut. Just do a little cut like this. Looks good. Mmm. I'm a QCR water. Drink that, wash it down. That's a good ribeye right there. Real good. Got it your meat. Wanna get your guns up a little bit? This gun? Oh dang it. Alright, let's try this asparagus. Let's see what this asparagus will look like. Yeah. Pretty good. Not too, not too snappy. Not too fabricy. A little wiggle on it. That's good stuff. Guys, if you like my steak, if you like my asparagus, give me a little thumbs up right here or this guy. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell notification. You don't want to miss any of these quality videos. Quality content, Rick, bringing the best videos on the internet.